Evening, everyone. Apparently, there's been another earthquake near my home. It's kind of strange. We've got a guy at work that um, <clears throat> some of us aren't feeling this, but apparently this one worker, even though he's on a forklift, is able to feel these these recent ones that we've had uh, near Perry, I believe. So this is from Channel 5 here in Oklahoma, KOCO television station, their website. And I already looked at the USGS and it verified that there was one. So apparently um, USGS says it's at 4.1. 4.2 is what this story says uh, on Monday night just after 10 p.m., 15 miles southwest of Perry, and several residents here in my town <clears throat> reported feeling the earthquake on the KOCO5 page on Facebook. <clears throat> it's a very short and brief article. But um, I have some thoughts on these earthquakes. I've had them for quite some time, but... Um, the amount of earthquakes that we've had is just off the charts. We have not had this many in this short period of time ever that I know of. So we can go back. And this is an old video that I made. It's at least, um, oh, at least a couple of years old. And I remember in this, I was talking about <clears throat> the drilling in Oklahoma. And speaking of Oklahoma as the focal point, because this is where I live, but this could be said for other areas also, um, it just amplifies the problem, the already existing problem of uh, solar activity lunar phases, the inner workings of the planet itself, how everything is already bumping and grinding and crushing up against each other in its, in its movement uh, below the top side that we live on. And then if you interject, um, what is the good Lord doing? As he's, he's already told us there would be earthquakes in diverse places, so in some cases, his hand is upon things to uh, have earthquakes. But when you're doing this drilling, as far as what I can, what I feel is that you're, it's like taking a, uh, sort of like taking a can of 301 oil and lubing things up real good underneath the ground after you do this um, uh, water disposal. <clears throat> That's just what it feels like to me. And what this is, which this would be even older now, is a, a map. And I believe it was found right here at this link here. www.ogs.ou.edu slash fossil fuel slash capital maps slash Woodford 11.jpg. I believe that's it. Now the, the the odd thing about this video, I want to put this in real quick, is I, I just now found that out. <clears throat> I don't know how long that's been going on, but as I said, this is an older video, and if I click on this video in my video manager, it won't bring it up where I can play it. The only reason that I've been able to play it is I had to click the edit button. And it took me over to the page to do the edit. And it allows me to play that on the edit button. So I have no clue and idea whether any of you can watch these. I'm suspecting that you probably can. But I have no idea why I can't get the video player to operate and allow me to watch my own video, even though it's a couple of years old, off of the video manager page. It just... Uh, 
the cursor just sits there as a pointer and click, 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 and nothing happens. So I have to hit the little edit button and get over here, and then it'll allow me to watch. But like I was saying, this is a map of where the drilling was going on. <clears throat> and as you can see, the vertical, horizontal. And as I said, the, these areas are even older than they were whenever I put the map up a couple of years ago. And you can even see back then, all these stars, all these blue squares and stuff, that's where their activity was at. Now over in this area in, in here, if we draw a big circle right around in here, we're going to get to the area that, that we had it in, in my county and, and, and uh, Perry. <clears throat> so this map, if it were updated, would have definitely more red stars and blue squares in different areas. And what I can say is uh, in the last year, they, they've had a lot of drilling going on. We had several oilies and their companies and stuff located into Enid. Um, and when they get finished, wherever they're drilling holes and stuff at, then they move and go somewhere else. But I had noticed since the activity picked up, we were getting more earthquakes. I mean, two and two usually adds up to four most of the time. So it only makes common sense that this uh, large increase in drilling activity here in the state, in my opinion, is contributing some, I'm not saying it's solely responsible for all of it, but I'm saying I know that it's responsible for some of it. I know factually that some of these earthquakes are factually related to the drilling that they're doing. So when you see these articles, you know, uh, Oklahoma going to launch a commission to study whether there's a link between um, drilling and earthquakes, that's all garbage. I mean, to study whether there's a link or not. Well, you didn't have as many before they started drilling, and then after they started drilling, you have a whole bunch of them. A lot more than you had before. Duh! So it's all, um, the scales are tipped to favor making the money because this provides jobs, and income to people in the industry. They take the money and they spend it on goods and services and the state profits from it. And the oil companies, you know, they got to pay taxes and stuff and operating fees and the state makes money. So the bottom line is they're going to allow it to go on because hey, it's a happy day for everybody that's making money. But if you're getting your walls cracked, your driveway cracked, your ceiling cracked, any, any damage, it's not a happy day for you. <clears throat> yeah, but you're the little guy on the totem pole, so it doesn't matter. Not in the world that they live in. So they're going to put these fake uh, asinine stories out to cover their butts about whether there's a link between earthquakes and drilling activity. And so I just wanted to put my two cents in about my state because I, I'm still a proponent that sooner or later the New Madrid is going to crack. And you, you're going you're gonna to have something larger than a 4.2. I don't know when. That's just my, my belief and my take. But sooner or later, what, what they're doing is just going to amplify and accelerate uh, things like this. Now this is, has, has absolutely nothing to do with the save the planet from global warming or nothing. No, it doesn't. 
It doesn't have anything to do with, with that man-made pollution. And I said pollution, I didn't say man-made heating of the planet. That's a different issue, it's a different video. This is Rock'em Sock'em Earthquakes. But when, you've, when you've already got natural things, cyclical things, solar things, God things, and they all mix and intertwine together, then when you get your grubby little greedy fingers and find some oil pockets that are near fault lines and stuff, and you just say, go and get it. Well, so what if it's near a fault line? We, we can recover this stuff and make the money. When you when that's your focus is making the money because it's there, then that's what they're going to do. And that's part of the safety that I don't think they practice because they could leave some of these patches alone. But then they wouldn't be able to make the money. They'd have to go somewhere else where they wouldn't dry out as much. And for the investment they're making to go in there and get it out and everything, it's not as profitable to them. So they're going to go after it wherever it is. And I don't care whether it's my state or anywhere else. You, us, unless you're looking where they're at and what they're doing and finding out, you're not going to know whether they're drilling near a fault line to get it. Until maybe... Something starts rocking and rolling and you get an earthquake. Maybe you just get interested and you decide to look into it as they're doing the work. But only protesting or calling your senator or your representative is, is about all you can do. Or you can call the company, but they're, they're going to give you a, a blow-off excuse. And they're going to keep doing what they're doing. So they are not telling the truth about this. It's going to continue, like I said. It, it'll slow down some in the winter time. <clears throat> I didn't say it would cease. But whenever they drill less during the winter time, you'll see a drop off. You can mark my words and make book on that. The, the man-caused, man-accelerated uh, shaking and earthquaking in this state, you'll see a you'll see a decline, and then when the weather warms up, and they still got areas where they can go and get it out of, and they go back there, and they start doing it again, drilling and working again, you'll see it go back up again. Until finally, you know, it plays itself out and the oil boom uh, in the state begins to decline. And then when it declines, well, we know what happened before in my state when, when the oil boom happened and it declined. Things were got pretty bad. You know, we got some layoffs and et cetera, but it's been a couple or more decades ago that that happened. So you got my two cents about what just happened, and, and uh, 4.2 is, um, I'm wanting to say that's the biggest one near my town that I can think of, because Perry is not very far away from where I live at all, and uh, that's getting too close to home, actually. It is, really, because Perry is west or east of me. So if this is west of Perry, that's coming my way, and it would either be on a straight line or just a little bit to the, little slightly to the north. So this was below me somewhat, not quite directly home right here in town. But, there you have it. It's what I think. God bless everybody. Talk to you all soon.